friends, it's Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company. I hope your day is going awesome. Mine's going great, all right. Happy Monday. No, it's not Monday. It's Tuesday, right? Yes, it's Tuesday. I don't even know the days of the week anymore. It's not Tuesday. It is Tuesday. No. I think it is. Matt, is it Tuesday? Is it? Yes. I'm pretty sure it's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. September the 1st. It's Tuesday, right? <laughs> All I know is that it is September the 1st and this signals fall for me. Who out there is putting out their fall stuff right now who hates me for saying that? I don't care. I can take it because I know what I love and I love everything fall, including pumpkin spice. And so I was just hugging all my stuff here. I took a quick photo for a thumbnail for a video today. Matt just got back. I'm going to get into some junk. I was hugging my, uh, my awesome thrift finds. And also, i got to show you a couple things, okay? Because friends show people things. So this morning, I got up, and I was out of my regular coffee. And by the way, right now for my coffee, I am doing just regular coffee. And I've been putting in some pumpkin spice. Hey, Matt, yeah. would you pass me in my bottle of pumpkin spice on the counter out there? I posted it on my Facebook yesterday, and I was asking you guys if you are on the pumpkin spice wagon, um, or if you want to run us all over, those of us who are on the wagon, <laughs> we love some pumpkin spice right here. This has been awesome. This is sugar-free, by the way, and I've been putting this into my coffee in the mornings, and oh my gosh, I mean, look, I got the plaid, I got the pumpkin spice, and everything nice, all right? So this morning when I got up, I was out of my regular coffee, and I remembered that a friend, uh, Roblin, had sent me this kind of coffee to try. Have you guys ever tried it? It's called, it's by Mods, and the, the flavor is called Gone Bananas Foster. Well, the, if you love banana bread or banana pancakes, then I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna love this coffee. So I said to Matt this morning, I am all about the flavored coffee. Like this, this is so good. And he just came back from a grocery trip and guys, look what he found me, all right? All right, number one, okay, it's the Canadian girl and me. You got me Tim Hortons, babe. Look at that. Can't wait to dress this up. What's that? Because if I didn't get it and you happen to see it. Yes. You would have been in trouble if you didn't bring it home. You saw it and you could not unsee it, so you brought it home to me. So yeah. love that. Who else is a big Tim Hortons fan? Love it. He also got me some Starbucks Medium Rose. This is one of the one of the brands that I like. I kind of change it up, right? But this is one of my go-to ones here. Just a nice regular coffee. And I see what you found me. Pumpkin spice. Oh, Starbucks pumpkin spice. And so I cannot wait to try that warm and balanced. Just the way every day should be warm and balanced. I like that. Welcome to my warm and balanced vlog. We're going to get into some good junk today. What are you laughing at? Warm and balanced, right? Matt's making supper. What are you making tonight, Matt? Black and pork chops with a deal garlic yogurt. Did you guys hear that? He's in the kitchen. This is the end of the day. I always enjoy this time of the day and it's starting to really feel like fall out there because yeah, it's like getting darker in the evenings. It's cozy inside. We are done with the packing and shipping of the day. All your happy mail, all the junk monkey happy mail is out. And now I get to work on a couple projects with you guys, turn on the camera. That's making me supper. I mean, it's every girl's dream, right? So he is doing pork chops and did you say a garlic dill? Garlic dill dip, yogurt sauce. yogurt sauce. Oh, okay, sounds good. And you got some sides? Maybe. Maybe. What'd you find for sides tonight? So I didn't get too crazy because I got a lot of stuff to do tonight. Yeah? So I just got some uh, steam in roast veg. Roast veg? Veg as in like what? Carrots, Brussels sprouts? Yeah. That sort of thing? That sounds good to me. What do you guys have for supper tonight? So while he's making supper, we can get this, this knocked out pretty quick. Oh, I got to show you guys something as well. I'll grab it in just a second. I also found something at the Dollar Tree, which if you're like me and you love some shabby flowers, I cannot wait to show you what I just found at the Dollar Tree because it is also the time that these things come out. So stay tuned in just a second, I will show you what it is. But I'm gonna go ahead and get into some paint right now before I pull that out of the bag. And we're gonna paint this piece here that I got for what, $2.99. This is gonna go into my office. And I'm gonna do a little bit of work on my office. So who, you know, let's just bring in some new work on the office uh, with a new piece, a new piece 
when you put it into a space, just makes you feel like, okay, I'm motivated. Let's work around the space, right? So this is cool. I just got some new Sharpie markers and stuff like that. So I'm going to paint this to hold it. And also I have this piece here, which I think is gonna look great. It was just one single piece, but this stuff like this when you're out and about junket and thrifting is perfect for gallery walls. Right, so I've got one. I'm thinking that I'll put this on my gallery wall that's in my hallway. I'll share it with you guys uh, once I get it up. But today, we're gonna paint the pieces. So I am just going to pick up some of my vintage white and uh, just really brighten these. I love to dry brush, so anytime I find pieces that have the raised edges, you know how this is gonna go, right? This is gonna be fantabulous. All right, cue the music, and let's get some painting done. I get a lot is when you paint stuff like this do you tend to paint the inside I do not I just hit it with my brush on the just like the top lip of it the top parts of it so it looks continuous but I just leave this the plastic or the wood or whatever it was and I don't do any build up, build up of paint layers inside I just drop my stuff into it and I like that two-toned look right I get the wood or the fake plastic wood look down here and it matches up with the inside so I think it's perfect just like this what would you guys do? This piece here, I'm going to grab a sand block and I'm going to knock off a little bit of the paint on those raised edges just because I want it to look more distressed. So let's do that. Oh yeah, much better. I like that. Matt, supper is smelling amazing. If you could, what's that? It's fighting you. It does sound like you're up to something out there. Oh, guys, I love the smell of garlic. What about you? And when Matt cooks with garlic, oh, it smells so good. I have worked with people in the past who told me that they do not like garlic and they do not like onions. And I'm like, how do you even season your stuff, right? Like, those two things make foods tasty. Are you a garlic onion lover or not so much? You probably wouldn't be able to survive in our house if uh, you wouldn't, you would not be able to eat anything because most everything that we do cook has garlic or onions into it. And we love it. Oh, I like that much better. Do you see how it's really coming to life now? Do this with your candle holders or any good stuff that you find out there when you're junking. Oh yes. And of course the paint's stuck on here. I didn't need, need to prime or sand or strip it. That's the wonderful thing about the junk monkey. You grab a brush and you go bananas. I am glad I took this home. I like it much better in my color. I feel like now it just it has this nice antique look to it and it's gonna fit in quite well with the vibe of my house. So look out gallery wall. I am coming for you tonight. 
And the other thing is I don't need to seal these pieces because they are not high traffic. They're just gonna look pretty, pretty on my office desk, pretty on my wall. So that means this project is done. I could also do a little distressing right here once this fully dries, just to knock off a little bit more paint around the edges. And I'm probably gonna do that. All right, let me show you real quick one of my most amazing finds this week at the Dollar Tree. Who else enjoys shopping at the Dollar Store? You can hit on some really cute stuff. And so this is the cute thing that I got. Well, this is the, I got two things. I'm looking in this bag right now that, that might interest you. And you're like, yeah, I might need that too. But this is the thing that I saw. This is the time of the year that all the new calendars come out. Um, and the Dollar Tree, by the way, I am just somebody who loves paper, stationery, pens, pencils. Tell me if you do as well. And when I went in there this week, they had a whole calendar section just put out. And there's all kinds of different sizes, like desk flip ones, uh, more smaller agenda style ones that you put in your purse with some really cute covers onto it. And this is a wall uh, calendar. So for a buck, I had to pick it up. It says shine bright in all you do. Look, it's 2021. Okay, and get ready for the back because the back is so exciting. Look, shabby flowers everywhere from January to December. And they all have uh, like a positive saying or just something awesome on there. You can find joy even in the most difficult days. This thing is not going to break you. You are loved. Keep on fighting. You're enough. You matter. Be kind. Shine bright in all you do. Fall in love. Oh my gosh. Fall in love. Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, I just love fall. So you might want to pick yours up as well. They have a couple different designs there, but this was my favorite. Tell me if you are all about this as well. And if this totally screams you. The other thing I got as I was leaving was they were just putting out a whole new display of candle lighters. And if you love me and you love candles and you don't want to burn your fingers putting like a lighter into a uh, giant candle jar. Do you remember I got those two um, new candles, big candles at the Dollar General recently? Well, this is why I picked this up because I'm probably gonna wanna light one. I may light one tonight and do a little cleaning as I spruce up my gallery wall. And this will surely put me in the fall mood. So thanks guys for hanging out with me for another daily vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and it brought a smile to your face. Tell me what you're up to today. Tell me what projects you guys are working on. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, I guess.